everybody, it's Hunger again, and it's time for another Legend of Zelda A Link to the Past randomizer. Uh, so, this is version 28 of the randomizer, and uh, with version 28 we got some new custom sprites. Uh, I'm using Mega Man X, or Rock Man X, if you prefer. Uh, and so, uh, this is going to be my first version 28 randomizer. I did try to record one last night. It didn't go well. I was ma I was having a lot of dumb deaths, so I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna get a good night's sleep and try again. So uh, this is not the same seed. I did get a new seed, so we're gonna go ahead and start here. The seed is bootless until boots. <laughs> oh no. Okay. Uh, hopefully that doesn't mean that I'm not gonna get the boots for a long, long time. All right. 20 roops. Now, the last seed that I tried, they gave me a ton of items in the early game. Um, and basically, that led me into Swamp Palace, which did not have any progression. And, um, you know, every other dungeon I tried just did not have progression in the slightest until... I had to do a forced dip into a dungeon I couldn't clear, and I found the Titan's Mitts in there. Uh, and then I had to go to Ice Palace, and that's where things just fell apart. <laughs> I, I couldn't get to Cold Stare, I kept dying. I had like eight hearts at the time, it was pretty bad. Another, uh... Oh, Hookshot! Hey! It's a very nice Hookshot there. Also got, uh a bomb from the guard, so that is a bomb I do not have to now look for. So that bomb drop was nice. Uh, getting the hook shot was also nice. Really uh, really a big fan of that hook shot. Since we're not going to need that bomb for a while, just keep the hook shot equipped. Alright, here we go. I like how that guard hit me and still didn't notice me. So much easier. Hey, uh. Alright, I'm working on avoiding enemies more. Because it takes a lot less time to get through here if you ignore the enemies than if you you know, stop and kill all of them. There we go. Some of them you have to get rid of, obviously, but... Beautiful. Okay. Alright. Boom. That hook shot is amazing. Oh, Ether. This is actually very close to the uh, first seed I got, so. A couple of minor changes, but uh, I, I got early hook shot and early Ether in the previous seed that I tried, so. Alright. Let's get out of here. Having two bombs there is very nice. Having more than that's even better, of course, but, you know. Having this hook shot's awesome. Alright, now those bombs can come into play. Alright. What do we got? Ah, get in there. Heart. Map. More heart. Alright. Starting off a little healthier than I did last time. Alright. Arrow capacity. Okay. Ooh, that is a heart. So, Aghanim probably not required, but we'll see. Alright. What do we got in here? Another 
heart piece. Okay. The mirror! Ooh. That is really good. That early mirror. Nope, you get out of my way. I need that bomb. So try to take my bombs. I swear. Jerk face. Alright, Kakariko Village. Time to put some bombs to good use. Alright. Alright. Red Boomerang. The Lamp, hello. Ten whole arrows. Blue boomerang. And. Oh. Twenty roops. So close to bottle vendor cash. Alright. So. Instead of hitting up the bottle vendor or the well right away, or the hoarder's house, I'm going to schlep on down here for the guaranteed bomb refill, because I don't want to run out of bombs, and I'd rather not have to buy any. Oh, hey, that's, that's bombs right there. Bombs for days. Alright. Let's go check out the Cuckoo, Cuckoo Hoarder's house. Or Christos's hut, as sometimes people refer to it. The reason it got the uh, Christos's hut moniker is because Christos Owen, one of the best uh, rando runners... Uh, forgot to check that and the bow was in it. <laughs> but uh, I got the flute. So... We get the uh, early swag duck anthem going on. Oh, I got more bombs from the merchant. That was uh, a lot of expense for very little. So, it's time for the swag duck anthem. Yeah. Come on, swag duck. All right, and there it is. All right, and here we are at the Kakariko Well. Ooh, that was the tight, the power glove. Excuse me. That gives me a ton of access to things. I think that's my third heart piece now. Oh, that's, that should be, yep. Oh, hammer? Flippers? Man. You know, like I said, uh, this this is actually pretty similar to the last, uh, it's, it's looking like early Swamp Palace for me. Um, it was uh, something that happened to be the last seed that I tried out, so it looks like I just can't get away from that seed. Um, I don't think I have a bottle yet, do I? No, I don't. Maybe there'll be one in here, so I can check Sick Kid. Nope. Just another little piece of love. So I can't check Sick Kid yet. Don't have a bottle. I can go down here and see what's in here. All right. Oh, the cape is on the is on the shelf. That's different. 
I hope that doesn't mean Agnum's required. I'm gonna... Before I go ahead and go in there and use the bomb, I'm just gonna check and see if it's gonna be worthwhile. 300 rupees. That's tempting, actually. They get me some Zora cash. I might do that later. Okay. So the play here is to go ahead and check the mini Moldorm cave. Of course, on that last seed, Silvers were in Swamp Palace, so... There we go. That was annoying. Alright, what do we got, buddy? Another heart piece. Bomb capacity. 300 roops. More... Th okay, so I don't have to get my Zora Cash from uh, the race game now. I've got Zora Cash covered. Uh. Alright, here we go. There we go. The normal gripe on this is that you can't really route it in with anything, but if you have the uh, flippers, or if you're uh, proficient at doing the fake flippers, um, then you can just route it in with your hobo check like I just did. So... I could do the fake flippers glitch, I just don't like to. Uh, but sometimes breaking sequence can help you a lot, so... Prevents double dips and things sometimes, so... Like, the logic may have you double dipping something uh, to get an item, but if you sequence break... For example, if you have a, a dungeon that has the flippers in, the, in it... And then there's an item that requires flippers to uh, clear that dungeon. Then the logic would have you double dipping that dungeon to get flippers. But uh, fake flippers avoids that double dip. Because it, uh, it gets you the item you need to clear the dungeon before you ever step foot in it. So that's kind of what I was talking about there. Alright. But uh, we are going to do some more water-based checks real quick. I'm going to slide right in here. 50 roops. Another heart piece. Alright, that's a that's another full heart. At least I'm at least I'm pretty healthy. I like to have at least ten hearts. <laughs> Preferably closer to, you know. Oh, there's another heart container. I'll be getting that. I'm definitely not so good at this game that I just ignore health. Alright, Zora, what do you got? Silver arrows. That is 500 rupees well spent. No life lesson today. Boom. So I thought the logic was telling me to do uh, Swamp Palace early, and uh, it turns out I don't have the Moon Pearl, so I can't get uh, it do anything in the Dark World, really, until I can get uh, the Moon Pearl. So maybe, uh, maybe our bud, the old man, can help us with that. Or uh, maybe it's somewhere else on Death Mountain. We'll see. I can do Hera, though. That is something I could do. Ow. Grief. There's a heart piece from the old man. I'm going to duck in here. Get a health refill real quick. 
All right. So. I do have the items that I need to access most of Death Mountain, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. All right. So, a top spectacle rock is the shovel. We're going to need that. And in here, we find the powder. Definitely going to use that. So, there we go. Give you a shot of uh, X's uh, bunny mode. Turns into the Dr. Light hologram, which is, uh, I think, pretty funny. Where's my mirror? There we go. Alright. Okay. And, uh, what's Hera got? Ooh! Crystal 5! Okay. Uh, that's enough to get me to do Hera. Alright. Got some, uh, Tower of Hera goodness going on in here. Nice big key. I'll take that. Okay. You go away. Got it. Okay. Alright, so can't get in there just yet, which is kind of a blessing, really. Hopefully it's got uh, the map or the compass and I don't have to come back for it. Okay. Oops. There we go. That worked well. Let's uh, jump over here. Alright. Here we are. There's the map. Uh-oh. So right now we're still hoping that Compass is in the basement. Because I don't want to come back for it. Ow. No! Oh! The dream is dead. So there is an actual item in the basement. So I have to do the tile room in the basement. That's terrible. I hate, I hate that place. All right. All right, Moldorm time. This is going to be terrible. Just saying. Good old vanilla fighter sword, sword Moldorm. Oh man. That was rough. If I can keep getting patterns like these, it won't be so bad. He's super fast, help! Whew! That was so clean! <laughs> uh, there's the key to the basement. Gross. Alright. <sighs> I kept trying to set up the invincibility frames, but it just wasn't having it. Oh my gosh. Stop. Do not hit me. Alright. Nice magic there. Get rid of 
correct. All right. Really? Bottle of green goo. Awesome. All right. Paradox cave. Here we go. All right. Hey there. Ooh, Master Sword. Very nice. Kind of wish I checked that first now. Would have made Mold Armor just a little easier. But it wasn't so bad anyway, so. Get him. All right. Ooh. Hey, I got my armor upgraded. Yay. Moon Pearl, hey. <laughs> oh, that's stuff right there. That's Moon Pearl stuff right there. Let's go. Okay. So now I am good to go on Swamp Palace, which is a pendant. That's annoying. Pendant Turtle Rock, though. So, yeah, I got all my pendants here in the Dark World. Ice and Turtle Rock are both pendants. That's, that's kind of nice, but at the same time, we'll probably have to go in there anyway, but we'll see. Alright. It's time for the Hype Cave, which, uh, you know, in version 27, there was not much hype here. But, uh... We'll see if uh, some of that hype has come back for version 28. Nope. Nada. Zip. Hey, a bottle. Yeah. Eh. Cave of not very much hype. It's the meh cave. <laughs> Alright, so let's go ahead and drain the dam. Nice heart there. It's already more hearts than I had the last time I tried one of these seeds. Nice uh, arrow capacity upgrade there. Alright. There we go. Let's get that hook shot out. Hey, there we go. All right. Ow. Ow. Can we stop hitting me, please? Various annoyances trying to hit me. It's kind of annoying. Really. All right. What do we got? Oh, I didn't didn't necessarily want to leave that behind. Really? Okay. Grab that. Don't flood the key. Here real quick. 
Okay. Another air capacity upgrade. Get the key. Get him. Okay. A hey, full health. Got my 10 hearts. It's very nice. Okay, I do not have the big key. So, I'm going to have to skip the big chest for now. It's possible the boss could be holding it. That's annoying. I don't have any of the other dungeon items either, so it's possible that the big key chest has the map or compass in it. That's kind of what I'm going to have to hope for now. Because if it has a map or compass, that means I don't have to double dip the place. Get out of here. Alright. What do we got? Single green rupee and the map. Okay. Still holding out hope that the, the compass will be in that big key chest. But uh, we'll see. Got a, got a chest to check up here. And that is the compass. Oh no. That means there's definitely an item in that chest. And that also pretty much means that the boss is holding the big key. So, how lame is that? Alright, let's get this key. Go away. Sometimes you just gotta show them their place. All right, here we go. All right. Stupid Argus. Ah, uh, stop getting so close. He's like one of those people with that doesn't understand personal space. Just keeps advancing on you like a glacier. Uh, I don't have the bow, so I can't finish him off with the silver arrows. Easy peasy. Got him. That was still pretty easy. It just took a long time compared to uh, throwing one silver arrow at it. I didn't necessarily need the pendant, but uh, I wanted to go ahead and clear it to get the big key just in case the big chest has progression in it. So that's the logic for that. So if I'd gotten the big key out of a different chest... Uh, and, uh, you know, the boss was carrying, like, the compass or the uh, map, and then the big chest had the compass or the map, then I wouldn't have had to go 
back in here. But, you know, it is what it is. So, let's see what this has. 20 rupees. Lame. Since I do have the hammer, I can go ahead and go up here. Nice, uh, nice heart piece there. So, we're going to go ahead and try the quake fish. See what he's got. Fifty whole rupees. Oh boy. Since we have to come over here anyway, let's check this. There we go. Bomb capacity. Oh boy. So here we are in the village of outcasts. Let's go ahead and check that chest game out. Bomb. Oh boy, 20 rupees. Sea house. Okay. All right, let's get this one. And this one has a heart piece. Okay. And now I have a couple things to do in the light world. All right, so I have a bottle now so I can visit Sick Kid. Got two bottles, actually, but... Oh boy, he, he had money for me. So, I have the powder and the hammer. So, I can also go ahead and do a bat check. Na 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 bat check! Bat check! Bat check! Bat check! Fire rod! That was a good bat check. All right, let's head into Thieves Town real quick. All right. Rupees. All right. Oh, no. Wait. Give me. I love having powder. Get wrecked. Okay. Alright. Ow. Could we not? Please not. Okay. There we go. There's the big key. Could we stop turning me into Dr. Light for a second? Alright. There we go. Alright, there we go. Yep. Didn't mean to go in there. Alright, here we go. Oh, hey. Oh, 
okay. There we go. All right, there we go. There we go. I love having powder in here. All right. Get me out of here. Got him. Yuck. All right, there's that. Okay. All right. There we go. Ow. There we go. And lift. All right. This chest is going to end up being a key. Ow. I like the dress. Yeah. You know. It's one of those side effects uh, of having these custom sprites is sometimes the NPC's coloring will change a little bit, but uh quite like that color. Okay. Come on. That's irritating. All right. Boom. All right. All right, let's do this. A novice skier often jumps to contusions. <laughs> oh no. That joke. Oh no. Alright, that's one down. Ow. That's not good. And I'm dead. Oh, come on! That's where it's at, right there. Hey, oh no. Okay. Alright, we're doing good. Hey now. Could you stop? Oh my gosh. One more. One more stupid hit. Alright, there we go. Got him. I just had to have enough health going in. That's all it took. That's all there was to it. Okay. Got a crystal. What a pain. There we go. Ding. No 
come on. I hate that. Alright. Oh, book. Very nice. Go away. That was a nice fairy right there. Okay, yeah, you go away. Nice burrito. It's possible the big key is either in that chest or uh, on Mothula, so... There's a small key. Ugh, stupid Mothula. Gotcha. Stupid Mothula. And there's the big key. Pretty much already figured out that it had it, though, so... Get him. You know, I just realized I picked up Book while I was in there, so I can go ahead and check the pedestal. So let's go ahead and get that done. Na, 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 na. Burn, baby, burn. Fear my ring of fire. What is that? Is that Bombos? Bombos on the pedestal? Hmm. Hmm. So, if that's Bombos on the pedestal, that means Bombos can't be the entry to Turtle Rock. But it could be the entry to Mire, so we may have to do all the Pendant Dungeons before clearing Mire, which would be terrible. Alright, and in the big chest we have a blue rupee, I swear. Please stop. I'm going to go ahead and go down here and do the digging game. Okay, that's my... That's my item right there. 20 freaking rupees. Check this out. Alright. And it's just 20 rupees. That's annoying. Stumpy, help. Alright. 10 whole arrows. Oh boy. Okay, so I need to get either bow or titan's mitts here. That'd be really nice. That's annoying. Can we get some Bower Titans? No. I'm gonna go ahead and sing my way into the front door. Alright. Alright, let's go in here first. Ooh, the cane. Very nice. Alright, let's check the torch over here. It's got the big key on the torch. No! Bottle on the ledge. Nice and empty bottle, too. Alright. 
All right. All right, let's go ahead and open this. All right. Uh, give me. All right, let's see what's up here. Probably just another key. Oh, Ice Rod, hello. All right, so I have to pay Kiki more money to come with me. Because I got hit by the jerk with the spears. All right, Kiki, open this dungeon up. All right, so the idea here is that I'm going to have to assume that either Pod or Eastern has the titan spits okay here we go nice sword okay all right so basically what i was saying earlier is uh i'm gonna have to assume that uh either titan smiths or uh the bow is going to have to be uh here in eastern because i've already been locked out of pod so, hopefully, I find one of those two things. It'd be nice if I could get the bow, then I could just, uh, you know, go f straight from here to finishing pod. But, uh, we'll see. There's a compass. A. There's the big key. It's a good spot for it. Means I get to check this right away. Vanilla bow? Nope. Bomb capacity upgrade. I swear. What a pain. I need either bow, boots, or titans here. Let's see what we can get. The Titans bits! Oh, thank you so much. Oh my gosh. Okay, so we need Quake to get into Turtle Rock uh, if we decide that we need to clear that, or if we uh, have to clear that uh, to get the pedestal, to get the Bombos. Alright. So here we go Hookshot Cave. And I did not see what is on the floating island, so I will probably end up just doing that by default. More bombs. So instead of hookshot cave, it's bomb cave. All right. The bow! Oh my gosh! Oh, if I had come up here first. That was really bad. Okay. If I had come up here before investigating uh, Pod. If I'd come up and get the Titan Smiths before investigating Pod and Turtle Rock, I wouldn't have had to double dip them. That's really unfortunate. Or not Pod and Turtle Rock, Pod and Eastern. What am I talking about? Okay. Alright, and Floating Island has... A heart piece. Vanilla Floating Island. Alright. That's fine. Alright. What do we got in the Super Bunny Cave today? Oh, Baby's First Shield. Okay. I like shield. There we go. Spiral cave. Alright, so here we are at Long Walk Cave. Since I don't have the boots. Alright. Let's get in here. Hey, nice heart. Okay. 
So as you can see, I decided to go back and clear Eastern first, since I already cleared out most of it. Then Pod. There we go. There we go. Alright, Armos, here we go. I've got silver arrows, so this is just <laughs> child's play. Bombs. Whatever works. Alright, that's another crystal down. Na 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 na. All right. Ding. Okay. All right. So I have uh, crystal five and crystal six now. So if I don't find anything cool in here, then uh, the chubby fairy is a spot that I can head to. I also have access to check Meyer area now, so that's nice. There we go. Alright. Ow. Could we not? Ow. Okay. Alright. Another key. Alright. Alright. Oh, don't want to go there. Alright. Nice and cane. Alright. I'm gonna go up here. Ow. Okay. Red mail, hey, gold armor. Got it. I was hoping it would be, honestly. I was like, I was like, oh man, I wonder if they're going to give me the gold armor uh, for the red mail, and I was not disappointed. Very happy with this sprite. All right. Here we go. Oh no, I don't have the bikini. <laughs> oh, stupid me. Oh my gosh, I can't believe I just did that. Gotta have that key. Oh, there's the big key. <laughs> oh, that's that's my cheater stick. I love that thing. Okay, there. There we have the key I need. Ow. Hiya. Okay. And we're going to get a key. All right. All right. And here we will find another key. And a heart container. Okay. I'm used to that one being a key, so. All right. And up here we find another key. Here we go. All right. There we go. Nice and clean. 
Ow. Alright. I used to be a statue like you, and then I took an arrow to the eye. King Helmosaur! Alright. Okay, that was annoying. Okay. If I could... I normally do not have that much trouble bombing this guy. There we go. Now. You know what? It might be time. Yep. Okay. Yeah, he only had one hit left on that mask, so I just took it with the hammer. powerful. Okay. So we're gonna go ahead and buy up the super bomb. And hopefully our chubby fairy friend has, uh, has the boots. That'd be nice. Alright. Alright, we got the big boom getting ready. All right, big booms off, and here we go. 20 rupees, 20 rupees, great. All right, so we're off to Meyer area. And... Okay, I'm pretty sure that's all the bottles now. But, uh... All right, let's check the medallion required for Meyer. It is ether. Okay, so I can get in. That's very good. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and check the checkerboard cave first. Nice, powerful heart container. And we're opening it up. And I'm going to hope for boots in mire. That's that's my hope, is that we find boots while we're going through mire. Because then we could clear the last dungeon there. And just move on with our lives. Because boots are required for this seed. Hey, it's the big key. Oh, wow. If I was at go mode... I could skip most of this dungeon right here. But I'm not. So. Now I have to do a whole bunch of running around. Nice heart piece. Just gonna go ahead. Go over here. Hit the crystal switch. Get the key. Okay. Alright, so. Next thing to do, let's go ahead and grab this. It's another key. Alright, so now I'm going to go over here. There's a key. Oh no. Glad I brought this. Okay. I'm going to go grab this real quick. Nice compass there. Alright. I'm going to go ahead and use the lantern here just to conserve MP. There we go. There we go. Alright, look at that. 
Okay, so that's all the dungeon items out of the way. Alright. Let's get them. That clean vitreous kill, though. Oh my gosh. There's the key I needed. I have to come back. Alright. This is where I needed to be, right here. First, I'm gonna get another key. Alright. Next, we're gonna go over here. Oh, come on. I guess I could have just gone over here without that key, huh? I didn't realize. Boots! <laughs> oh, so good. Alright. And there's going to be a small key in here. Yep. Let's get him. Alright, Landmos. Get him. That landmo kill was savage. Whew. Okay, there we go. All right, so boots did open up quite a bit of progression. Uh, including being able to go and get the cape if I wanted. Uh, it's on the library shelf in Kakariko Village, but uh, I don't need it. So at this point, uh, I'm just going to go in and try to finish the game. So, so I'm uh, I'm actually doing really good time-wise, which is unusual for me. <laughs> so even with the non-forced uh, double dips into pod and... Uh, and Eastern, I'm still doing remarkably well on time. So, this uh, may be a sub three hour seed as long as I keep executing well. For me, it's faster to do that than it is to try and set up the thing. Alright. Hey, look out. Nice compass. Lame. Okay. I got four keys. I am well on my way to becoming a high school janitor. 50 roops. Still would be nice to find half magic. Oh boy. It's time for the rando room. So named because people only come here in randomizer, because in the vanilla game there's nothing special here. Alright. There are four chests. There's the bug net. That's kind of nice. I'll be able to uh, fill up my bottles with fairies now. Alright. Get that powder out. Hiya. Get him. Oh, that heart. All my health. <laughs> I'm getting so healthy. Finding all those heart tanks. Alright. Can we can you move? Alright. Alright, that's enough of you. Alright, three chests in here. We get small key, 20 roops, 300 roops, lameola. 
and probably have to go through uh, the tile room to get the stupid big key, but we'll see. Okay, bombs. 20 rupees. Oh, man. All right. Got him. Dough. All right. Dang it. All right, and we get five. Okay, plus five bomb capacity. All right, one of you. Oh, there's the single arrow. I can defeat Ganon now. Oh, there's the key. Get the thing! Seriously. Okay, there we go. I have powder for this. Alright, there we go. Alright, let's get him. Oh, come on. Got him! Get another clean Landmo 2 kill. Okay. Got him. Oh no. I forgot. Oh, I need that. Give me a second here. Can we can I has? Alright. Thank you for free magic free fill. <laughs> oh, nice shield upgrade. Hey, it's a burrito. All right, here we go. All right. No, oh, come on. All right, let's validate this run. Nice bomb capacity upgrade. All right, buddy. Let's see what you got. There's one. Okay, that was lame. There's one. There's two. I don't want to lose here, really. I'm not going to lose to one of the lamest bosses in the game. Come on. There's three. There's four and five, I believe. There's six. All right, we got them. I don't know if I needed to use the potion there, but uh, better safe than stupid. Alright, let's Ganon. Did you know nutrition experts recommend that at least half of our daily grains come from whole grain products? How did I not end that phase in that corner? That's crazy.
Yeah, oh, did you find the arrows? Meh. Alright, got that. Oh, come on. No, 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 no. Okay. I did get the glitch, though, so that's good. Could we not die, please? Thanks. Oh my gosh. No, oh, no, no! I faced the wrong way! If I had a nickel for every time I missed a shot on this guy for facing the wrong way. Oh, come on, no! Get him. Okay. That was a clean Ganon fight. Yes! Okay. I'm under three hours, yes! <laughs> I know that's not a huge accomplishment by most runner standards, but for me, that's amazing. Okay. Oh, hey, it's you. <laughs> yes, it's me, Mega Man X. <laughs> oh, that's, per that's beautiful. It's perfect, pretty. Uh, Fellowship of the Ring. This whole bit. Nah, 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 nah. Oh, jeez. Read a book. <laughs> oh, jeez. You know, I wonder if they're going to start... Uh, ever make it the thing that they say there um, based on what item you get from the chest in there. Be interesting. Sakurai's homecoming because they a lot of these a lot of these other ones are based on what item you picked up there, like the the flute kid and the bug catching kid or sick kid, whatever you want to call it. You know. Bully makes a friend. All right, your uncle recovers. Na 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 na. <laughs> yeah, sharp arrow for sale. Yeah, that was so good. Fighting silvers at the waterfall. <laughs> I'm so glad that I didn't try to skip on Zora. I would have been upset. The witch buying drugs. <laughs> Two wood choppers. Archer boy sews again. <laughs> Did I get one of the mail upgrades from him? I can't remember now. I think I got the blue mail from the grove. So, I guess that makes sense. I don't know. I have to go back and rewatch it. And the Bombos medallion, the swirly coin, <laughs> sleeps again forever. Oh, man. I think that's the first for me, having a medallion on a pedestal. But uh, luckily, I didn't have to get it, because that would require two more dungeons. Definitely would have put me over three hours. Okay. So, I will see you back here for the stats. Oh, here we go. The important stuff. Oh, wow. <coughs> Excuse me. So they have uh, time found for all the stuff now. Flute is at zero. What does that mean? I didn't find it, like, right off the bat. Gans Tower, big key, bonks, saving quits, deaths. <laughs> Fairy revivals. 
Didn't ha didn't use the fairy safety this time, so that's nice. Three deaths though. Collection rate, total time. That's not bad. So yeah, they changed the way that the stats look at the end. That's interesting. All right. So not a bad time for me. Uh, that is that is pretty nice. Uh, thank you all so much for watching. I do hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, hope we'll see you around for the next one. And as always, I hope you have a great day. Bye-bye. <music>